Hello friends, this video on playing with numbers part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please. Divisibility by 6. So how do you know if a number is divisible by 6 or not? So here the rule is such that a number is divisible by 6 if the number is divisible by 2 and 3 both. So basically we do not have a separate rule for divisibility by 6. If it is divisible by 2, that means basically if the number is an even number and if it is divisible by 3, that is the sum of the digits should be a multiple of 3. So if both these criteria are satisfied, in that case we can say that the number is divisible by 6. So let us quickly take an example. So let us take this number 198. So how do we know it is divisible by 6? So for that first we have to check if it is divisible by 2. Now as per the rule, we know that if a number has 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 in its units place, which is there, then that number is divisible by 2. So we can say that this number is divisible by 2 and it is an even number. What about divisibility by 3? So to check the divisibility by 3, we need to find the sum of the digits and the sum of the digits comes out to be 18. This is 1 plus 9 plus 8. So the sum of the digits is 18 and 18 is divisible by 3. 18 is a multiple of 3 because 3 into 6 is equal to 18. Therefore, we can say that this number is also divisible by 3. Now, since 198 is divisible by 2 and it is also divisible by 3, therefore, we can say that this number is divisible by 6. Now, if we come across a number which is divisible by 2 but not divisible by 3, in that case, it will not be divisible by 6. Similarly, if you come across a number which is divisible by 3 but which is not divisible by 2, then also the number will not be divisible by 6. So if you want, you can verify this divisibility with real actual division. So let us quickly check it. So we will divide 198 by 6. So this is 6, 3 is 18 and then 6, 3 is 18 again. So you see it exactly divides, 198 is exactly divisible by 6. Now the most obvious question in your mind is how it works. So let us try to understand how it works. Now 6 can be written as 2 into 3. That is 2 is a factor of 6, 3 is also a factor of 6. Now, in order to understand this, we will have to write the multiples of 2 and multiples of 3 both. So, let us write the multiples of 2 here and multiples of 3 here on this side. So, what are the multiples of 2? It will be 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, 2 3s are 6, 2 4s are 8, 2 5s are 10, 2 6s are 12, 2 7s are 14, 2 8s are 16, 2 9s are 18 and so on. Similarly, if you start writing multiples of 3, it would be something like 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6, 3 3s are 9 and then 12, then 15, then 18, then 21 and so on. So this is how you will be able to see the multiples of 2 and 3. Now, if you try to compare the multiples of 2 and 3, you see that there are certain common multiples, like there are certain multiples which are both common to 2 and 3. For example, 6. 6 is the first common multiple between 2 and 3. The next common multiple is 12. The next common multiple is 18. And so on. And what are these 6, 12, 18? These common multiples are nothing but multiples of 6. So when you actually look at the multiples of 6, what do you see? It is something like this. 6, 1 is a 6, 6, 2 is a 12, 6, 3 is a 18 and so on. So basically the common multiples of 2 and 3 are the multiples of 6. So that means a number which is divisible by 2 and also divisible by 3. That means that number is a multiple of 2 as well as a multiple of 3. So a number which is a multiple of 2 and a multiple of 3 is definitely going to be a multiple of 6. So that, that's the simple logic which has been applied in this case. 
So let us again check if these numbers are divisible by 6 or not. So the first number that we have is 2, 4, 5, 6. So if you check its divisibility by 2, then this is divisible by 2 because at the units place we have 6. Now when you check its divisibility by 3, you need to sum the digits that is 2 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 which comes out to be 17. Now if you are not sure if 17 is divisible by 3 or not, then again sum the digits. So you get 8 and 8 is not divisible by 3. And therefore, this number will not be divisible by 6. Let's look at the next number. It is 10512760. So again here at the units place we have 0. Therefore this number is divisible by 2. To check the divisibility by 3, we will sum the digits. That is 1 plus 0 plus 5 plus 1 plus 2 plus 7 plus 6 plus 0. So this sum comes out to be 22. Again, if you are not sure if 22 is divisible by 3 or not, again sum them up. So you get 4 and 4 again is not divisible by 3. Therefore, the number is divisible by 2 but not by 3. Therefore, overall this number is not divisible by 6. Let's look at 13100001. So here at the units place, we have 1. So it is not divisible by 2. Now since it is anyways not divisible by 2, there is no point checking its divisibility by 3. Because we know since it is not divisible by 2, this number will be not divisible by 6. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.